my tripod is a bunch of books stacked on my bed. So I'm hoping for the best right now. What's up nuts? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, I'm Victoria, Pinecone, Tori Bean, whatever you want to call me. Okay, hi. I just finished doing doing filming this video. I tried introing it before I started the video and honestly I had no idea where I was going to go or where my rant was really going to take me. In this video I talk a lot about plastic surgery, my take on Facetune and just Instagram as a whole and that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to give a disclaimer that these are just my opinions. This is not me coming for anyone in particular or anything. These are literally just my opinions. I saw a video by this girl, Jordan Teresa, and she posted, these Instagram models aren't real. So basically that sparked my interest to wanna to talk about this today. Let's have a conversation about this. Let's open the conversation and just have a good time. Enjoy the video. This is something that I feel I have to just not that I have to talk about it, but I want to talk about it. There's this Instagram account called beauty.false. They put the picture that someone posted versus the picture from like the photo shoot or something like that caught from paparazzi or something like that to basically show the difference in the face tune and just how people look and how they're perceived or whatever on their social media versus real life. The reason I wanted to talk about this is because we hear so much that Instagram and like in, we see Instagram models that have like the lip fillers and all of that stuff. Part of us does know that these people have plastic surgery or and beauty enhancements, but then I also feel like there's some part of us that also forgets it. Let me backtrack to the whole where this idea for this started. It was yesterday I was having a conversation with my friend and she was saying that she was having a crisis and we joke a lot about wanting to get nose jobs and stuff and while part of me is joking about it, I know that a big part of me isn't really joking. It bums me out because I don't want to think that way about myself. I don't want to think that I need a surgery and then that's when I'll feel good about myself and that's when I'll start gaining a following or some you know those you know those lies that just kind of creep into your head and you don't even see them coming and then all of a sudden your brain is like I need a nose job or I need I need all of these things and I need to look this certain way and it all stems from seeing people in the media that come across looking beautiful and perfect and nobody talks about the fact that they do not always look like that. It sucks because you see yourself in every type of light, you know? You see yourself at your best, you see yourself at your worst, but what, the when you're seeing these people, you're seeing them all at their best. And that's why we're so surprised when we see them looking normal. Part of me wanted to talk about plastic surgery, another part of me wanted to talk about the whole Facetune situation because just, oh my god. Okay, plastic surgery, I don't really have a huge problem with as long as people are honest about it. And I'm saying this in the sense of an influencer or someone in the public eye. I think if you are in the public eye and you are an influence on people, I feel that your audience has the right to know if you've had enhancements. I feel like it's not fair to have people idolize you and not even be honest about the fact that, hey, like, it's fine that you think I'm pretty, but just so you know, like, I, like, I'm not saying this about me, but if I were someone that had these procedures, like, to let, it's okay to have people think that you're pretty, but also to be honest of, like, I've had a nose job, like, my nose, I didn't look like this, my nose wasn't born like this, or I have lip fillers, or I got a boob job, like, those kind of things, because it gives them kind of a sense of peace to know, like, oh, okay, you weren't born like that. Because I feel like sometimes it can be upsetting to look in the mirror and be like, why wasn't I born like this person? For instance, Bella Hadid, like, you look at uh, Bella Hadid and you're like, wow, she's so beautiful, why wasn't I born like that? She wasn't. But going back to Instagram and stuff, the whole Facetune situation just makes me so ugh, like it makes me so sad there are people that do get that it, there is facetune and there's people that look at certain 
pictures in, I, I know that I know I'm like, oh, that's just a good angle. It's the people that they always do the little face tune adjustments, like the bringing your chin up a little bit or making your nose look a little skinnier or making your cheek cheekbones a little more defined, those little things that not everyone will notice but over time that's just kind of what you are suppo supposed to look like and then people see that as real and it's lit it's not at all like in no sense is that real you know with people that have plastic surgery when you see them in real life their lips will still look like that their nose will still look like that their boobs will still look like that all of these procedures are hap are in real life you know but when people do the facetune situation, it just, oh my god, ugh. I guess that some people don't really care about the message that they're sending. I guess my overall point of this video was A, to try to, I think because I just need to talk about it, because ugh, it, it bums me out that I want a nose job or that I want to do, um, the there's like injection things where you can put it in and it like dissolves the fat underneath your chin so you have like the jawline or whatever like it bums me out that that's something that i actually am like at points like not all the time but at points i'm like oh but if, like what if i got a nose job like god oh, think of like how much cuter i would be and stuff like that it makes me so sad that my brain goes in that way because I don't want to think that way. And that's, again, I'm not hating on plastic surgery because do, you do you, but when you're doing it, if you're also an influencer, that is, or you're trying to be an influencer or something like that, the whole title of influencer is that you are having an influence on people. And what, what kind of an influence do you want to have on people? When people don't say that they have plastic surgery, you assume that it's real, you know? So, cause I know that people can be like, well, I'm not lying about it. I just don't talk about it. Not talking about it leads people to assume that you don't have it. And I guess there's just a lot of people that they really don't care. They just don't care about the other people. They don't care about their fans. They don't care about their audience. They just care about the money that they're getting. Um, they're, they care about the attention that they're getting and it's, it's, a, it's selfish. So when I had this conversation with my friend last night, basically she was saying that she was having this crisis over Instagram, kind of freaking out about aesthetic and what we should, like what content you should be posting. And what I was saying was, Honestly, just go out, take a picture, post it, and just, you know, just have your Instagram, have your content reflect who you are. You shouldn't, if you're trying to follow an outline, it's not going to work because that's not who you are. That's not natural to you, you know? We get upset because we see ourselves, like, looking bad, and then you see a picture that someone posts in sweatpants and stuff, and they look so good and so cute. It's like... They got dressed for that picture. They got dressed to specifically take a picture of, look at me lounging, you know, like, you know, like nobody looks perfect all the time. Not a single person looks perfect all the time. And I think what I loved about the video that this girl posted was it was showing that. It was showing that, yes, this person can look amazing on their Instagram and stuff, but look at what it looks like when someone just takes a picture of them when they're not expecting to have a picture taken of them, you know, and not all of them look bad but it's just that they just know their angles. I wish, I just wish people were more authentic. I just wanted to have a chat about this because after seeing that video this morning, I just thought about how many people don't think about the fact that a photo can be facetuned and they see it and they consider it real or they don't think about the fact that someone has had plastic surgery and that's how they look the way that they look. I will definitely say like, I am hating on Facetune. I do not like Facetune. I do not agree with that at all. You're creating a false image of yourself, like a completely false image of yourself. And why would you, why would you create a false image of yourself? Then what happens when people see you in real life? What if I always Facetune my pictures to make it look like I had a tiny nose? I could never have a YouTube channel because then you, I would what turn to show you something and then how many pictures it would if I was like uh, Instagram person or whatever how many pictures would pop up of like wait a second and the noses compared to each other why like why would you set yourself up for that when it comes to plastic surgery that is like a full like 
you invest money in that you have to think about where you're going you that's it can be like sometimes a dangerous procedure and stuff so when it comes to plastic surgery like that is all that is your own choice that is a hundred percent up to you whatever you want to do to your body i don't have beef with plastic surgery i think i have beef with not being honest about it and i'm not talking every day situation if you're just living your life day to day and say you didn't have a social media or you didn't have a following or that's not what you were trying to do with your life and then you go and you get a nose job i'm not saying that every person you have to meet you have to be like hi my name's victoria i've had a nose job that's not what i'm saying i'm saying if you are trying to do something of influence or you're trying to be influential on a bigger scale and you get plastic surgery like that can be that so can be part of your story and it doesn't have to be a negative part of your story you know and you can talk to people about that and make it a positive thing you know and say this is something that really bothered me in my life and this is something that i really needed to think on for a long time to get done and then you did you know like it doesn't have to be like like embarrassing but i think that it is something that should be talked about more because i feel like a lot of people compare themselves to people that have altered their appearance whether it's through plastic surgery or facetune and they have no idea that like and they're just looking at themselves who have not done any of those things and they're thinking that they're ugly or that they need to change themselves in some way and they're trying to figure out how to look like this person and they're like oh my god well i guess the problem is is that i was just born ugly it's like no they were just they just either that's how they chose to spend their money was on those things or they have literally <laughs> completely altered the way that they look through an app. I just wanted to talk about this because we just all need to know about it. I feel like everyone just needs to talk about it and know about it. Cause I feel like we hear it so many times of what you see on Instagram isn't what like real life looks like or whatever, but I feel like we just need to say it even more and more and more. Thank you for listening to me rant. I know that I went all over the place. I really didn't have a set plan with what I was going to talk about. I just kind of knew that I wanted to talk about this. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Facetune is fine? Do you think that like it's okay not to talk like about plastic surgery if you've had it and you are, are trying to be someone of uh, influence on like other people? Like what's what's your take on these things? How do you feel about it? Again, this is just my opinion and that is just that's it it's just an opinion i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe peace love and blessings nuts i love you look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you are beautiful because you are and don't let anyone tell you otherwise and don't let any instagrammer make you feel like you're not pretty if they make you feel like you're not pretty, unfollow them because you don't need that kind of negativity in your life, all right? Okay, I love you, goodbye.